We're doing something very special today. We're doing bridges, actual, actual engineering work, kind of. <laughs> so basically what we have to do in this game, which is unusual relative to some of the other stuff I've been doing, is that we have to build bridges. So basically we have two points here. These are uh, support points. These are what we would call a pin supports. So that is to say the point here can exert a force vector in any direction. In contrast, the car here, because it has wheels, it can stop forces from going vertically, but cannot stop anything from going horizontally. We have road here. The problem here is that this behaves reasonably well like a chain that is simply uh, straight. Basically, we want there to be forces that are in compression and forces that are in tension. So let's go ahead and put some wood up. Yeah, so now, uh, but this is not quite done yet, but uh, I would like to emphasize that if you observe this, well, there could be, a, there could be a tension in this lower part of the bridge and compression in the upper part, and thus they would constitute a force couple. But since they will not have the same bending moment across the span, we have to put in something more. We have to basically put in something to take the shear force. There we go, there we go. This kind of looks like a bridge. But let's see if, uh, let's see, uh, let's see how it goes. Let's try it again because I think we can optimize. Okay, so we can hold down shift and we are allowed to sort of move these. Because in the center here, the bending moment is larger in near the center. For that reason, we can make these ones shorter because since the bending moment that we have to absorb is lower near the supports, we do not need as a high an internal lever arm here. So for that reason, we can try this uh, shape instead. And look at that, it works quite well. All right, next, let's try to just give it a little more optimization like this and then let's try one more because the aim of this game is is to uh, of course to save the money now you could notice the graphical um we are 94 percent right but see it is at max stress is 94 percent so we are close to some problems now this one is interesting right because um it, we are sloping downwards and what we did before was, let me just repeat that. So the most basic solution to this is to achieve the bending moment resistance by placing a section that can take uh, uh, tension and we on the top we have a section that can take compression. These two forces are counteracting each other, thus constituting a, a bending moment. But it doesn't quite work before we connect them to each other. Yeah, so this is a little unfortunate. I realize that uh, I'm, uh, I, this is a very architecturally cringe sort of bridge. I do realize that, but okay, this is kind of the same idea as before, right? Now we have a kind of a bridge. So let's see if this works. It, I am a little concerned. We don't have enough internal lever arm to get enough bending moment, but let's see what, what happens with that ridiculous. So what we have to do is to try to increase the internal lever arm. In actual fact, right, the forces that are in the bottom part and in the top parts here, right, well, they're the same. They're still coming from that car there, right? But now that they are further apart from each other, they create a larger bending moment. So maybe this will work, but it was a little tight. So this is the one that breaks now. Okay, well, we have to make the internal lever arm greater still. When you look at this here, right, you should notice that the top part here is trying to make a, a, a shape that looks a bit like it's part of a circle. This is what an actual bridge might actually look like. And this one made it. Let's try this. Ooh. That felt good. 92%. Anyway, let's move on. So yeah, so now we get steel. So let's just go right ahead. So let's try the same kind of idea as we did in the very first bridge. 
The reason we're going under now, it is because I want to emphasize that it is the same system. The difference is that it is the road part here that is in compression. It is being pushed together, whereas the bottom part is getting uh, elongated. So it's in tension and the top is in compression. So together, these two forces, they counteract each other. They have the same size, but they counteract each other and they are separated by an internal lever arm. And this allows them to balance the bending moment from the load of the truck. All right, let's run it. Oh, that's just, oh, 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 I just noticed this. There's like a number down here where you can, where you can follow along. All right, it's time for optimizing this bridge. Ah, that felt good. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm trying to replace the uh, reinforced road. Yeah, see, we, w we didn't even need that the reinforced road here. These ones here, they need not be steel. That's the problem. Can we make them road? Are we allowed to make road here? Nice, we are. Okay, let's see if the road thing is a good enough. Yeah. Okay, we need to see what broke. Okay, so it is that one. Okay, okay, this is good because the fact that it is this one that breaks means that the tension in this one got to be too high. But we can fix that by just increasing the lever arm. But check this. The same force here achieves a higher bending moment. That felt good. 11,000, okay, okay. We're getting there. Let's just optimize this a little bit. Like this. Yeah, exactly, because, they, but I also, ooh, that is, a, that do, it, it was a 97%. Yeah, I just wanna, this is a little shady. Let's just try it, though. So that felt good.